Pony Pals doing? It's me, Desmond. And today I just wanted to show y'all how to put together emasculators, because as far as I know, there are absolutely no videos teaching you how to put these emasculators together. So here I am being the mixed savior that I am. Now I am totally cheating because I'm gonna be taking them apart in front of you and putting them back together, but you know what? You have no choice but to watch me. Of course you gotta make sure that everything is clean because the reason you're even putting these back together is because you just got done with a castration and so you cleaned them up, you got all the blood because you ain't trying to cross contaminate with no blood. Not trying to kill animals out here. This one, horses because I work at a horse practice. But yes, so we're gonna make sure that everything is clean. This has already been cleaned. We're about to put it into a pack, but before we put it into a pack, I wanted to show y'all how to put it together. So there's a screw. I have a little tool here. That one was already loose because I was starting to put it to um, take it apart. And I was like, no, let me show the people how to take it apart and put it back together. So I like using my hands a lot for stuff like that. So we got those. I undid this one a little bit too. Excellent. So, there's my tool. Cheater McCheaterson. Cheater McCheaterson. Cheater McCheaterson. I'm cheating. I usually take this bottom part out. There we go. Yeah. Come on, girl. There she goes. <laughs> She's doing great. So, this is what you guys should have. Let me pan that around. So, this is what y'all should have three to four screws, you have that one long screw in the corner, that's how it should look like. Okay. Alright, alright, so I paused it and moved it around because I was like, no, let's make this challenging. Let's make it look like I actually know what I'm doing. So, y'all, what you want to start, you got your two little pieces here. Um, mine's have an angle, yours probably does too, you know how I'm seeing that? Like, it's not going to lay right on my hand or right on the table, it's going to be sitting up like that. So, I like it when it is pointed towards me. And I'm just going to crisscross them. I'm going to crisscross them. You see that? You see how they, they, they crisscross? They're going to look like that. All right. And so the next thing you're going to do, you see this um, little piece here. It's a little more rugged than the other one. Um, you're going to lay that right on top of this other piece. Now, you'll notice that there is like a little nodule here. And then you'll notice down here. Let me take this off. There's a little hole right there because it would fit perfectly like that but don't lay it like that because we gotta cross her she's gonna be up the top of here and we're gonna whoops lay her right on top so we literally just laid it right on top I'm trying to get my hands out of the way but you show y'all real easy so there we go next we have like this little nuptial of a whipshool piece there we goes this little thing here you see how it has like little two nubs so there's the two nubs that are right on here. And let me put this back together. So here, whoops, here, here. That nuptial thing is going to sit. There she goes. And then here we are. So the knobs lay, sorry. They lay like that. So the smooth part is the one that's on the outside. Because remember, we need that crunchy, rigid inside to crunch some things. So we're going to put it right there. And then you have this little flat piece. You're going to lay it right on top. And you see how it has like the holes here and you have the hole here. Or here. Sorry, I'm looking at everything else. Lay it right on top where that's supposed to see. You should be able to see right through whatever you're on top of. Mine is a towel. I see straight through this towel. That's what's happening. And then lastly, you're going to grab your smooth one. I call this um, other piece and this piece like rough and smooth. Put these right on top of that and it should sit just like that. Now we're going to go in and start screwing. So I have this... Um, long screw now there's two things that i call the long screw there's this one that has like more of a flat top and then there's this one that has little nuptials like the other screws in here um the flat top is the one that goes to the bottom we're using this one to fasten the ones up here so let me get her all lined back up it is so hard to film and talk to y'all about how to do things so it should fit right in through there and I'm just going to twist that up a little bit, just enough to like, you know, 
I can tighten it now, but I want to do it just enough where it's like, okay, it's tight enough to where when I mess with everything else, it's not going to like come apart. So like that's perfect. Um, this one, my flat top screw, this big flat top screw, I am going to come from underneath because I'm going to line this up because I had it all open. Now I'm going to line up the holes where I can totally see through the bottom again and I'm gonna come up from underneath. So this flat top is going to go underneath. The bottom or the top of it is gonna show up right there. Boom, that's the bottom of it. I love talking. And then we screw that down just enough and then we have the smaller screw. This is the smallest screw. And you're going to screw that one down. Remember, I'm just doing this enough to like just have it tightened. Um, I'll show y'all how to tighten it right here. So you want to get it nice, righty, tidy, because we're trying to castrate things in a healthy manner. So it's perfect. Oh, I did a good job on that one. And this one, I got to flip it over. Ooh, just enough. And there we are. You see? Just like that. Can you see? I wish she would focus. You see her. She's doing great. Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope that was somewhat helpful. I'm not going to look back on it because in the next 20 minutes, I have an appointment that I need to get ready for. But I hope y'all figured out how to put your emasculators together and you'll never struggle again. Or at least struggle for the next hour. But anyways, my name is Desmond Washington and thank you for tuning in.